Thanks again for joining us for these daily meditations during Lent and Easter. Today is day 53, Saturday of Easter week, and the title today is Follow the Lord. Today's words from Augustine come from one of his sermons. Follow the Lord. Where he went, we know perfectly well. We solemnly celebrated that occasion only a very few days ago. He rose from the dead, he ascended into heaven. That's where we are to follow him too. Obviously, we mustn't despair about getting there, but because he made us the promise, not because we can manage it on our own. Heaven was a long, long way away from us before Christ, our head, had gone up to heaven. So that's where we have to follow him, and it's good to follow him there. Our scripture today comes from the letter to the Colossians, the second chapter. So as you received Christ Jesus the Lord, walk in him, rooted in him and built upon him and established in the faith as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. For in him dwells the whole fullness of the deity bodily, and you share in this fullness in him who is the head of every principality and power. In him you were also circumcised with a circumcision not administered by hand, by stripping off the carnal body, with the circumcision of Christ, you were buried with him in baptism, in which you were also raised with him through faith, in the power of God who raised him from the dead. And we conclude as always with a word of prayer. Let us pray. Glorious and risen Lord, the mystery of your resurrection speaks to each of us individually, to those of us gathered in communities of discipleship and in your church. As you call us and send us forth, we realize that this mystery is meant for the entire world. In faith and love, we pray, the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. The Word has risen and send us, sends us forth in the Spirit. May we go forth in peace, joy, and hope. Amen.